This is the refugee camp Balukali 2, located in South Bangladesh in Cox's Bazar area. Since August 2017, more than 1 million Rohingya refugees have fled the violence in northern Rakhine province of Myanmar and crossed the border. This is a section of the community located behind the Japanese Red Cross Field Clinic. As you can see, you've got little houses made of bamboo and tarpaulin shelters, all dug into the sides of the hills. This area is high risk of flooding and also high risk of landslip due to the clay soils that the houses and shelters are being built on. With one million people, Balukali 2 is comparable to cities like Stockholm, Sweden, Cologne, Germany, or Birmingham, UK. The difference about the Balukali area is that there's absolutely no infrastructure, no drinking water pipelines, no electricity, no telecommunication, no sewage system. One million people produce approximately 10 million liters of wastewater every single day. This wastewater is either collected in pit latrines or runs through hand dug open canals. Besides the disturbing odor all over the camp, there is a high risk of downstream contamination and disease outbreaks. I know I'm not going to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't this is day three of setting up the system. We had uh, incredibly hard working conditions for the last couple of days. We, it was, uh, the weather was very hot. We had approximately 40 degrees Celsius plus 90% 90, 90 humidity. The team was really, really doing their best, but sometimes we simply couldn't do more. <laughs> Okay guys, let's roll! Saigon, founder of Saigon Engineering. Uh, hi, this is Masud Chaudhuri, site engineer, Saigon Engineering. Uh, this is Bangladesh, uh, Rohingya refugee camp, Balukhali 2 and Camp 18. Today is the 28th of November 2018 and today indeed is a very, very important day. We started uh, taking on the first real fecal sludge from, uh, from the pit latrines. started in the second week of September and uh, like we came here to uh, to the site the first time and we managed to set up a system that actually can take on fecal sludge within 
uh, yeah, 10 weeks or two and a half months. And uh, this uh, place are a jungle and very uh, lowland area. We develop our site, we carry our materials, we set up our tools. Uh, uh, firstly, we uh, face a huge challenge, but now uh, we are thinking that we are going to success a new era, a new dimension of uh, fecal sludge treatment in, uh, from pit latin to our, uh, uh, our fecal sludge treatment uh, system. Uh, so uh, this is a very amazing day. We uh, remember in of my life this day uh, uh, because uh, 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 this day uh, uh, is uh, very memorable for me. So today is the 2nd of December and this is actually exactly. the second day we put on we put on fecal sludge into our system and yeah it's amazing there's no smell at all nothing uh, yes uh, uh, today uh, in main time we uh, put on uh, one cubic uh, meter of uh, raw sludge and it is going to throwing fecal sludge in our reactor tank uh, and uh, there have no bad smell and uh, any uh, uh, adverse uh, effect. I'm sitting only half a meter away from 15,000 liters of raw fecal sludge collected from pit latrines. I don't smell anything. Today we had two delegations on site. We couldn't believe that 15,000 liters of fecal sludge could actually also not smell. And we were having uh, lunch only two meters away from the reactor tank. So that, uh, so that shows that the system is working pretty amazing and uh, everything is working out fine. Today is the 19th of December 2018. Today is a very important day for us. After three months of very hard work, very difficult circumstances and, uh, and conditions, uh, the extreme heat, the dust, uh, a lot of setbacks, a lot of minor setbacks that we had. We right now are, uh, are running at full capacity. And today we had the first discharge, free of parasites, free of microbiology, free of viruses, germs, bacteria. like now.